Hi, I'm John from Just Whiskey. If you like today's show, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And consider becoming a Patreon with the link in the description below. And thanks so much for the few Patreons that I do have that help support this channel. Much appreciated. And as a Patreon, you have access to exclusive Patreon reviews. And remember, folks, it's Just Whiskey. And today, it's Just Whiskey. Indian whiskey. This is the Indri Drew Cast Strength Batch 1, bottled in July of 2023. Non chill filtered, no coloring added, as most Indian whiskeys are non age stated because of the um, extreme heat subtropical climate. This bottle, um, 750 milliliters comes in at 57.2% ABV, and it's been matured exclusively in ex-bourbon. Yes, which is what I thought. And it comes in this very cool, it's a cardboard thing, but it's a um, nice display case with a bunch of uh, foam rubber in here, which we're gonna talk about. Um, and inside here are the tasting notes. And yeah, it's a nice little display case with a little, like a magnet thing on the side, on the, on the side which is nice. And um, at where Indri is located, um, they experience a 12% angel shear loss every year. Okay, so it's pretty high. So this is non-age dated. I'm guessing it's two or three years old, maybe maybe four at the most, but I'm guessing probably two or three years. Um, I'm not quite sure. Um, but it's, and, 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 and uh, this is um, just like Amrut, most Indian whiskeys use six Indian six row barley as opposed to Scottish two row barley. Um, it's supposed to have some more flavor to it. Um, Quickly, before I get into the review, because it is relevant, and you'll see that the, the cork is off this bottle. It's been open for a few weeks, but I'm letting it air out for a reason, which we're going to get into. Um, I previously reviewed um, the Injury Trini, which is probably my highest watch video to date. Um, and back at that review, I made note of inside the tube of the injury trinity are these you know foam rubber things that are um they smell horrible they uh they smell like you know a new carpet or a uh a new car smell but an, an extreme like plasticine tox toxic substance that are in these this injury trinity cardboard tube i took the smelly foam rubber thing out of it over a year ago and this tube still reeks of like new carpet new car chemical kind of a thing um and it's the only um spirit that i've ever had that i've experienced this very pungent toxic um strong smelling uh packaging that they use in here and this injury uh, drew the same thing. I mean, this was, you know, loaded. Even these little um, hard rubber stoppers in the bottom, they really smell uh, toxic. And uh, that's not a good thing. And the reason why I bring this up is, and I talked about it when I reviewed the in injury, is that when I first cracked this drew, it had this strong before any of the nicer notes came out, this strong um, linseed oil, pine, turpentine, um, furniture polish, detergent, solvent kind of a thing, um, which is a huge turnoff for me. Now, in the rum world, you know, there's acetones and like airplane model glue, and some people really like that and gravitate towards that. And then in the bourbon world, a lot of uh, since it's new uh, new charred oak, 
my experience with most bourbons uh, is that um, they have this prominent acetone note, which is a turnoff for me. So I went back to the Indri Trini, um, and which is a blend of in three different cask, a, a triple cask maturation um, with wine and things like that. Um, and maybe, maybe there was a hint of that, some kind of like off solvent note, but only, only a hint. But in this Drew, it was very prominent. Um, so if anybody from uh, Injury is uh, Piccadilly is watching this, um, get rid of whatever you, wherever you're buying these things from. Um, they're, they're not doing any good. And I'm, I'm just speculating that possibly that that those chemical compounds are possibly somehow leaching into the bottles uh, somehow um, ralphie says it it's not only possible but it happens long-term storage and just cardboard tubes alone um, he said the the bottle the glass and the through the cork no matter how well sealed it's gonna get in there um, so but anyway um what I have noticed is the longer this stays open, um, it seems that the, those uh, that those pine resin notes um, dissipate a little bit, and also too, I think my palate's be becoming more acclimated to that a little bit. So it's a little bit of each, but I'm going to leave this uncorked for quite some time. I mean, not like days or anything like that, but just to see if that's going to um, help matters out. Um, but it, it might just be part of the component. Um, again, like with some rums, acetone, that airplane model group, model glue. Um, it could just be a component of, of this. Um, so I've talked enough about those off notes. So I'm going to ignore all that for the sake of this review. So most of that has dissipated. So we're going to get into what's behind that curtain, okay? And the, and be and, and just one more thing. So I try to be real and keep this thing real. And, and I thought about not reviewing this for like another six months. But that's not reality. Most people buy a bottle, they open it, and they start drinking it. So that's why I'm being transparent and with my experience, okay, from this. Um, all right. So now that most of those off notes have dissipated, we're going to get into the, the bones of what's going on with this Drew. You're getting some citrus, some bubble gum, maple syrup, brown sugar. palate is very syrupy very viscous is a slight sweetness and it's um fairly complex it's got a lot going on in here i'm getting some chocolate covered cherries some fruity berry berries some butterscotch vanilla cream there's a nuttiness in there and it's also a bit rum-esque, okay? Um, the finish is medium long with a peppery oak spice, some cinnamon. Um, hmm. Yeah. I'm just going to pour one more. Yeah, it's like um, condensed butterscotch. If I had to like round it up, condensed butterscotch, that pine resin is there. We're going to call it pine resin, which uh, I could be uh, poetic and, and say it's uh, nutmeg because nutmeg is a, a seed from an evergreen, an evergreen uh, tree, plant, tree. So if you love pine citrus, bubblegum, 
condensed butterscotch, chocolate-covered cherries, vanilla cream, nuttiness, a little, a little rumminess in there. Medium long finish, peppery. I know I'm repeating all this, but peppery, oak spice. But I, it's not what I expected. And that's just I'm be, being totally ignorant. I, I was expecting more fruitiness in there somehow. But everything I described is my honest uh, experience and perspective with this. Um, the price on this wasn't bad. Um, I believe it was about... $80, I think, right around there. Um, so that's not that's not too bad for a cash strength offering um, with a heavy angel share loss. Score-wise, drum roll, please. I, I really had high expectations for this. Um, but I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. So a 6 out of 10 is good. Okay, but it's not from my experience it's not very good it's above average but i'm just going to call it good six out of ten that's my score i'm sticking to it this was the injury drew cast strength hope you enjoyed this review thumbs up if you liked it consider becoming a patreon hats off to you all and take care folks